Right. I, uh, no, not Iron Army. Juichi Dan? Hmm? The boat. Uh, we don't know. There is no specific variant that this has been attributed to it is, as it's not actually specific to any particular no, the Type 11. Class. Hmm? I'm just making sure I have the word for type in my head correctly. Chiki? Oh, is that what that's for? I believe so. I'm not mistaken, that is a designation for type. Mm. So this would be the Jewish Shiki. The type of lead? Where? The boat. Oh, you mean the just uh, the boat? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Well, I mean, presently, it's going to suddenly become a... I need to look in my dictionary again for what the word for submarine is. <clears throat> they have an entire flotilla of, of PT boats. the correct way to manage stress musically while playing War Thunder is just have a bunch of Nightcore playing. Nice. As it turns out, the Cossacks li a little by even. The Cossacks Library. <laughs> it is quite nice. Okay, yeah. So they don't use the same designation because they call it the number eleven torpedo boat. Makes sense. Yeah. Or rather, torpedo boat number eleven, which makes yeah, sense. Cause... Yeah. War Thunder lists I... it as PT fifteen. That is a correct designation, I believe. Um, but that also has Type eleven at the same time. So is that saying that it is PT-15, which is the fourth in a series of PT-11 type boats? Might be. Not enough. What am I being hit Naming by? Cri Naming criteria. Serial okay. numbers from the number 11 in the um, order of planets. Gentle so, yeah, Speed yeah. just killed me in the new Russian boat. Its tracers ah. are invisible. Oh, that's a bit worrisome. Okay, yeah, yeah so the one with the AK-630 on the back? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to quickly take a look at the Type 11. Um, doesn't have any nameplate on it, but it should be classified. If it's the PT-15, then it's the PT-815. Peter boat number 50. Which, yeah. They were all produced in the Mitsubishi Heavy Industry Shimonoseki Shipyard. And PT-15, I guess, or PT-815, torpedo boat number 15, would have been produced in 1974. That explains why it's so huge. It's a big boy, yeah. It's got a surprisingly amount of, uh, amount of technology thrown into the hull design. Mm. And I think, I don't know why they call this thing the Type 11. It's not a I type don't 11, know. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> does but it yeah, get? A, does the new thing get a boat spawn? Yes, it's coastal. God, the Hugo's. <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, 
guy to really fucking jump the shark. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm presently helping a an Akizuki in front of me double team a, sh a summoner. Nice. Because that way we might actually match it. No. No. Unfortunately not. No. Uh, Akizuki plus you're... Iron Army does not equal summoner. Good to know. Uh, Akizuki is 159, and uh, Iron Army has the same as other 3x2 um, IGN, so that's 138, and that's not counting frag pen and. Frag dead zones and shit like that as well, and armor. That's I believe fine. you collectively I'm have more crew, just but dumping so I don't explode. That's a good idea. But yeah, like, uh, and Summoner, by the way, has on the realm of uh, 444, I believe. So it has like a good 100 kilograms of TNT above you guys. Oh, good. I have to say that the, the horizontal traverse speed for the Japanese destroyers is. Depressing. Wait till you try the Germans. <laughs> uh, I, I, mm. Like the, the issue there is you get neither horizontal nor vertical. You're stuck with uh, neither. There's there's no real like consolation there. You just don't have either. The consolation there is you can have a destroyer with six inch guns. I don't know if that's a consolation because it, it would get be this version. Yeah, if Gaijin didn't model dispersion based on gun caliber. Yeah, that that's a little bit... Uh, and it's not even like they keep to that sort of consistency later, because they then provide battleship with, like, better than... Uh, roughly hit for dispersion, I'm gonna say. Not better than hit for... Rough, rough, roughly hit for dispersion. Yeah, excuse me, as half the enemy team is now summoners. Oh boy. Well, there's two and a battle in front of me, and... You should be able to fight with the battle. Also, I had time fuse loaded because I was shooting at a plane. Oh. I got That's... assist on the battle, at least. Nice. But, uh... Ha ha Um, do you know the historical traverse speed of Hugo's turrets? Um, depends on if they change them before or after World War II. Before Either. or after World War II. If they change them between the First World War and the Second World War, because I can check the Second World War statistics. I don't have off... Well, I could check the First World War statistics, but I'd have to dig the PDF out, and... Okay. It's easier There's to just dig the book open for World War Two and go to Japan. Can you it's confirm that they'd have different traverse speeds? Um, also, because this is fast. This is very fast traverse speed for... The, for, the 14, 45 Vickers and 41st year types, right? I believe so. I'm going to have to check the armament. Exactly 14-inch bore, Vickers Mark J or 12-inch Meiji 43 type. Really quickly. Lucas Mark III or the 14 inch 43rd year type. Similar Japanese design as the 41st year type. <sighs> Man. Uh, yada yada yada. Mounted on Congo, Hiei. The, the latter. Okay, the Japanese type 41 were mounted on Congo and Hiei. The Vickers um, type 43 was mounted on Haruna, Kirishima, Fuso, Yamashiro, Issei, and Hyuga. All twin turrets. Okay, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I know that uh, yada, two yada, of the Congo yada. had one type and the other two had another. The, the difference is, is that they have different breaches. Yeah. Basically, and different barrel construction. Um, but... Oh, hang on. This is literally just information for the gun. It doesn't weigh... Gun mounting. Elevation speed and training speed. Five and three, respectively. Okay, time to take a look at the stats in game. Because I'm pretty sure that was faster than what you just described. Five degrees a second and three degrees a second. For elevation and traverse. Um, oh, no, I just... Five degrees per second vertical and three degrees per second horizontal. Well, that's correct, then. <laughs> 
Yeah, that felt very fast for some reason. And is also correct for every single other Japanese 14-inch turret. When they get around to being out. Maybe I'm just used to... I don't know. Why do I feel like these are really good then? I don't know. They felt oh, very, same very speed fast. for the 16-inch for Nagato and Mutsu as well. Nice. Yeah, so then that value is actually correct. They they got that one correct. Um, the Type 94 18 inch? 8 degrees yep. elevation, 2 degrees training speed. Yeah, that's correct. Or rather, that's not in game yet, but yeah, that's no, not great. Right. It's just... Yamato has better AA eleva uh, <laughs> elevation speed, so you can use it that against planes more effectively. <laughs> That was mostly for loading, as far as I remember. Yeah, because um, they didn't have any angle third, loading, did they? Uh, it was a 3 degree angle maximum for loading. Hmm. Which is why up to 6,000 6, meters, you could maintain a 2 RPM constantly on that thing. Oh, jeez. Um, beyond which, like, that number depreciated down to 1.5, I believe, at the hmm. highest angle. But the average angle for combat, you'd expect to achieve at least 1.7, if not higher. Well, it won't matter for War Thunder, because combat doesn't take place at ranges greater than 6,000 meters. That's true. <laughs> God. But Yamato's, uh... What was notable was, as far as technical achievements, 8 degrees per second off of an 18-inch was considered quite impressive. Hmm. You know what's ironic about the, that US diplomacy, or d democracy bloat being in a Russian boat? We just had IGN Zuk Zuikaku in a Fletcher. <laughs> uh. I don't know if this is a player base for the game at this point. I don't know. Uh, torpedo mode for Ionami sounds useful to me. Uh, uh, prop for Yugumo.